hydropower is a hugely significant part of our energy mix in Scotland already. Uh, many people will be familiar with many sites across the country, but I think it's got a huge role to play in the future, and that's why I'm interested to see what potentially we can do to develop more sites in Scotland. The crossroads because I think uh, the UK as a whole and certainly Scotland within it requires a balanced energy mix and clearly hydro can play a role in that. The industry have asked us to, to make the case to the UK government to put in place what's called a cap and floor mechanism and this means that effectively the, uh, the, the producer of electricity, the developer of the site, would be guaranteed a minimum price for the electricity they produce but also given a cap at which it wouldn't go above a certain level. Well clearly we have major projects which would develop very many construction jobs, hundreds of construction jobs in the case of Corrie Glass up the valley there, which if it's to be developed would, would sustain 300 or more jobs during its construction, obviously more jobs thereafter uh, for the longer term. But it's its contribution to the security of our electricity supply and to uh, our ability to respond to peak demand when we need to. I think that is absolutely critical to the grid and it's why the UK government should be supporting this technology.